In this video, we will review the types of exposure timers used in radiography. A timer is part of the high voltage circuit to control the duration of the X-ray exposure. It consists of a mechanical or electronic device that is able to break or terminate the high voltage across the X-ray tube. This takes place on the primary side of the high voltage section when the set amount of time has been achieved. There are three types of timers used on modern X-ray equipment. All three are utilized during manually set technique exposures and do not include automatic exposure control, which we will discuss in a separate video. The three types are the synchronous motor timer, the electronic timer, and the MAS timer. We will first talk about the synchronous motor timer. This timer counts the number of revolutions of a synchronous motor spinning at 60 cycles per second. Once the timer counts the correct number of revolutions, the manually set exposure is terminated. This type of timer is able to produce a minimum exposure time of 1 60th of a second, as it is limited by the number of resolutions per second. The electronic timer is the most common timer utilized today. It sets a certain amount of charge to be allowed to be built up in a capacitor. A capacitor is any device that stores an electrical charge. When this electric charge limit is reached, the capacitor discharges its current, which causes an electromagnet to open the exposure switch, terminating the exposure. These timers are very accurate and can produce exposure times of one millisecond. The last timer we will review is the MAS timer, which is commonly utilized on mobile X-ray units. The way it works is the highest safe MA is automatically selected for an exposure. An MAS meter in the high voltage circuit monitors the accumulated total MAS and terminates exposure when the preset MAS is reached. This is why when an exposure is set on a mobile unit, the overall MAS is selected and the MA and time cannot be controlled by the radiographer individually. This can be an issue when a very long or very short exposure time is desired. For example, a breathing technique is not possible for most mobile units. Additionally, a large body habitus requiring a high MAS would be a challenge on a patient that is moving or is not able to stop breathing with this type of timer. So what do you need to know about exposure timers? You should be familiar with the three types of manual exposure timers. You should know that the synchronous motor timer counts the number of turns of a synchronous motor spinning at 60 cycles per second. This type of timer is able to produce an exposure time of 1 60th of a second or longer. An electronic timer is the most common timer. It sets a certain amount of charge to be allowed to be built up on a capacitor. And when full, it discharges its current, causing an electromagnet to open the exposure switch and terminate the exposure. MAS timers are often utilized on mobile X-ray units. It monitors the total MAS and terminates the exposure when the preset MAS is reached. The MAS is set as a unit and cannot be manipulated into MA and time by the radiographer. 